Welcome to Last Night Productions, everybody. I'm your host, Carlos. With me today, I got Ian. How's it going, Ian? It's going all right. Good to, glad to be here as always. Yes, good to have you. Mark, how you doing? Relatively good. Cool, cool. Um, actually, for our New Year's Eve spectacular, um, we were talking about the newest film that hit HBO streaming, The Menu. Uh, Mark had it as an honorable mention. So we had to go and visit it since it just came out. Um, and you know what? It was pretty good. I liked it. This one's directed by Mark Mylod, Mylod uh, starring Ralph Phineas as Chef Slowest. I've always been. Is it Ray Fines? I think that you say Ray Fines. His name is very confusing. What? Yeah. If you look up people saying his name, they always say Rafe. I, I thought it was like Ray Fines. I'm like, why is it spelled like Ralph? But I think you're supposed to say like Rafe Fines. So like the F and the Rafe and the Fun and the Fines get blended together. So it sounds like Ray Fines. I think it's Rafe Fines. I didn't know that. I could be incredibly wrong, but that's how I always hear everyone say his name. Okay. It's confusing. So why can't you just be Ralph? Ralph Fien Finis. Anyway. I shouldn't talk. My name is Goofy, too. Ray <clears throat> Fines as Chef Slowick. We got Anna Taylor-Joy as Margot. Nicholas Holt as Tyler. And a couple other people in this cast, such as John Leguizamo, Hong Chow, Janet McTeer, and Paul Adelstein. Um, it's a great cast. It, the premise is a bunch of rich people go to an island for the menu of their lifetime. The meal of their lifetime, I guess you could say. And it's all curated by one of the most renowned chefs around, Chef Slowick. Uh, things turn a little hairy. It wasn't what they expected. And uh, some crazy stuff happens. We now offer you a 45 second head start. <laughs> okay, 45 second starts now. This is what you're paying for. Get out of my way. It's all part of the menu. No, we're gonna die today. Yes, we are. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. You told them it was my birthday? It seemed funny about three hours ago. I don't know, let's start with Mark. Mark, what did you think about this film? Absolutely love the movie. It could have easily been in my top three. Um and you know, I don't know why it wasn't. But Probably because uh, there's better movies. Oh, hey. Ooh. Now. Hey, now. <laughs> hey, now. Ooh. Uh, I, I really loved, I, I just, everything about it, I love, love the acting, I love the storyline. Um, a very cool idea for a movie. Mm -hmm. I would, I, if I had taken my hand, I'd go see it right now. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it was really good. Um, Ian, but you didn't. You didn't it was, it? it was okay. It was okay. It was okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I didn't really, I wasn't really that interested. We saw the trailer a few times, I want to say. Oh my God. I think I was in one theater where they came <clears> like <throat> three or four times in a row. Oh, really? Crazy. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, I saw, they probably played it maybe before like Pearl and maybe something else. Maybe like when we saw Dawn of the Dead. Mm -hmm. But um, it didn't really pique my interest just because to me, I just, I was like, I've kind of seen that movie already before. Right. And, uh, but Mark recommended it. So we watched it and, um, yeah, uh, Christian is here right now. He called me on the phone and, um, he's like, yeah, I probably won't make it for the menu. And I told him, yeah, you're not really missing out on much because <laughs> he, he, he wasn't able to watch it. And I told him, yeah, well, in my opinion, you're not really missing out on much. Um, I really liked Anya Taylor-Joy. Mm -hmm. I like her. I like her regardless. I'm just a big fan of her. Ray Fiennes was good. Uh, just his acting the problem i have mainly is the characters um i just find except for maybe anya to me anya taylor joy was the only one that actually acted like a character everybody else was just one-dimensional mm -hmm. and uninteresting ray ray fine's character was interesting but i felt like he could have been fleshed out a little more mm. um everybody else was just to me cannon fodder and uh just there for kind of not always landing jokes um <laughs> But it's very well made. The setting's cool on the island. Um, it's almost, in a way, you guys were talking about, like, the whale, it's, like, one setting. Really, this is kind of just one setting in that uh, restaurant. That's true. Um, 
yeah, it, you know, it was, it wasn't, it's not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's bad. It just, it kind of just left me just, I don't know about wanting more, but it just, it just left me kind of uh, indifferent, which, you know, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But yeah, that's my, my introductory statement. Hong Chao, I guess, was good too. It was kind of nice, you know, tell off the, the dudes, the, the, the three fucking just, again, just stereotypical douchebags. Yeah. You know, yeah. but anyway. Yeah. Hong Chao was really good. Is what she in the whale? What? Is she the That's chick in the, the middle? Same actress? Yeah. Whoa. He's doing great. Um, would you recommend a stream at least? If you're interested in it, I I wasn't really that interested in it. Um, if you watch the trailer and if you're like, that seems interesting, yeah, watch it. Sure. Um, if you're just like, nah, eh, doesn't really look for me i wouldn't be like no take a chance on it you're gonna I, I wouldn't go that far but if you're interested in it yes watch it um as for me i really liked it um i would recommend a stream if you have hbo maybe get a free trial <laughs> you know i missed this one in the theaters which i think that's totally fine I, you didn't have to sit in the theater did you see it in the theater okay yeah thanks what, what do you think did you watch it streaming is there yeah, a difference both. Um, so you rewatched it no it's not that bombastic yeah it's not like a big avatar thing where you got to go right yeah the cast on this one is really good um ian was talking about the trailers it looked a lot like um that classic story that everybody rips off uh, the most dangerous game from the trailers it didn't turn out so much like that um i think that there were a couple good little twists and turns and things that separated it from that kind of genre of film the visuals were really nice, like the set pieces. The kitchen was very like Hell's Kitcheny in a way. Um, the island itself had a little bit of mystery to it. It was kind of creepy looking with all the dead trees and branches around. Yeah, the once again Hong Chao, she did really good bossing everybody around. I did like Anna Taylor Joy. Um, I want to see more of Nicholas Holt though, uh, the boyfriend at the intro. Did you like him in this? I one? couldn't stand that. <laughs> he's I nothing against him. He's a good actor. I couldn't stand the fucking character. I was trying to figure out why they made that character for this film. I think that he was supposed to be like an ignorant consumer in a way, because the chef even says But, but it, well, I'm sorry, continue. The chef even says, um, you know, you pick apart everything and you have everything down to a science and you know it so well. Why don't you like pick up a knife and start cooking and he can't do it? Right. I, I think that was more like for audiences or viewers who i don't know i felt like it was very movie related like maybe even us we can pick apart a film he could yeah, but he if could. we tried to go out there and actually film one we probably wouldn't do as good as the chef um i got the impression that he was that he lied and told him that he was a chef that could be oh yeah, that could be the case yeah like that, that very well what could you be just said makes sense also can you do better yeah so I, don't, I don't know yeah something like that I do agree, like, all the characters were one-dimensional, but I think that might have been the point, right? They're all supposed to be, like, rich and fancy people. It just, it just didn't jive with me because I don't... Th- Anya Taylor-Joy, well, at time, I don't know. She's, a, what, a prostitute? Escort? Oh, where, where the hell? <clears throat> we're getting into spoilers now, so... Oh, spoilers, wait, wait, but... Um, let's get into it. Yeah, but... Um, where was I going with that? Like, Ray Fiennes can kind of see that about her. She's not even supposed to be here. She's, like, uh, Dante and Clark. She wasn't even supposed to be there that day. Oh, but um, because uh, Nicholas Holt's character broke up with his girlfriend, so he hires a fucking escort, which sheesh. Yeah. But um, yeah. Uh, and somehow Nicholas Holt knew they were all gonna die at the end. And I guess he's the only one that knew that. Which I didn't. Why is he the only one that knows that? That's what I was wondering. Is he is he the only one who knows that? It seemed like it because everyone else is freaked out. Right? Yeah. He's the only one that doesn't run when he's like, yeah, I'll give you forty five seconds for running. He's the only one. He's like, that means you too. And then he starts going. It's just, I don't know. Like, I don't know if he was in the know somehow about about it. But then the random chick that stabs Ray Fine's little legs for like sexually harassing her twice or something. Yeah. She's like, oh, it was my idea. So I don't get it. So it, to me, it was just like, yeah. to me, his character was just a plot device. It was just, his character was solely to get Anya Taylor-Joy's character to the island. Right. Mm-hmm. And... That was about it. Because I knew right from the get, this guy's just like, hey, I don't like you because I don't like those kind of people. Nothing against foodies, but I, I just can't. It's just like, eat your fucking food and just fucking... She's slapping her hands. Yeah, saying, no, yeah. It's just like, just eat, eat your fucking food. But um, <laughs> I already, like, this guy's a loser. I'm not a fan of him. Um, 
which is like you said probably the point yeah. uh I don't really like how the movie has to explain to us that he's a loser when they go, Oh no, go cook. And of course it's, it's awful. And the, the movie ridicules him. And it's like, I already knew he was a fucking loser. Like you don't need to, it's like, move, okay, thank you movie for holding my hand and tell me this guy's really fucking lame. He can't even cook. And then he goes and hangs himself in the closet. Like, it's like I knew the guy was fucking lame. Like, you know, it's, I don't, and I'm sorry. I'm hogging. I'm just going to say this and I'll stop. So also him killing himself it lacked a punch because we already saw somebody else kill themselves because they weren't good enough. And it's just like, well, this, this was like, it was just like, oh, okay. Anyway, even Johnny Taylor was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And it just goes on with the plot. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop talking for a second, but you, you too. Yeah. There wasn't <clears> really any impact in his death. I, I feel that. that. Yeah. They should have had it out there where everybody could see it. Maybe. Yeah. Or... Like the mess. You got to do it in front of everybody. The mess. It's like he, is that your review? <laughs> but he, he said that he had been uh, corresponding with him for months. Yeah. Okay. So it's like as they progressed into the um, evening, it's like he was he was cleaning up, you know, loose ends. He was cleaning up things. You talk about Ray Fiennes' his character. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, you know, like the sous chef. You know. You know, I'm never going to be as good. He was more than willing to to do it, you know. Uh, the jerk off that that uh, hung himself. He could have, you know. I think they could have maybe made it more of a spectacle. Um, I, I, that that's the impression I got. He brought everybody there for a specific reason, and they were all bad people. And you know, he just you know, I don't know. This isn't really this isn't really attached to where I'm going where I'm going with this, but I felt so bad because these people had lost their passion for it and i just you know it's like god you know that and even the chick you know when the dudes ran off you know and the chicks went into the went into the restaurant um the sous chef that, that sat with them it's like they she temporarily crumbled a little bit she started to cry and that and then she you know when that fucking bitch told her you know i can i can make your career you know just you know that kind of thing yeah. and she kind of beefed back up you know it's like that's not what she wanted to hear it's not where this is going kind of things but yeah a lot of it uh, to me i think he just got all those bad people there and he wanted to punish them he was just going to do it all at once but then opportunities came up i guess or he might have had the the dude that hung himself he might have had that in mind all night you know yeah i know well because he did like reach into his ear and like him something maybe he just said go hang yourself yeah but it's time to just kill yourself now. okay i'll go hang myself <clears throat> i was trying to dissect it a little bit this might be a little out there but it almost felt like this whole film takes place maybe in the chef's mind hmm. uh, that might be a little too far out there but you have all these different characters you have the um the critic he hates the critic he hates the actor who let him down in his past with a really good role well, a really bad role in a really bad film. Yeah. Um, you have yeah. the customer who just knows everything about it, Nicholas Holt's character. Um, and then, you know, they say, don't go in Chef's house. Don't go in Chef's house. It's the same exact thing. He basically lives in the kitchen. He breathes the kitchen. And Anna Taylor Joy is able to go in the back of his consciousness, in the back room, and see what really makes this guy tick. What was his passion? What was his love? And is able to dissect it that way and get out of it. Which, I don't know why she was able to get out of it. They all kept saying, no, you're dead too, you're dead too. Right. Um, but he makes her a cheeseburger and lets her go. Right. I don't know what that was about. Maybe it, it seemed like all night they were kind of connected. Yeah, right. Was that was my favorite parts of the movie. Yeah, my favorite parts of the movie were them talking. Um, right, yeah. Going back to your, um, your, your kind of take on if it, it's all in his head, that's an interesting take. I don't know if that would work for me because I think I that very well could work, but I don't think it would work because I kind of viewed Anya Taylor Joy being sort of the narrative. Like it ends with her sort of watching the again spoilers place burn down. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like you know if it takes place in his head, like why would she be? It's sort of like when people say like Total Recall, like oh it's it's just a dream. It's like well then why are we watching the bad guys talk? Like you know right. Arnold Schwarzenegger would have nothing. He wouldn't like you know it, like narratively it doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. That's just me, though. <clears throat> That's an interesting take, though. 
Because when she goes in, like, the, and again, going into the room and seeing, like, he, he had, like, newspaper. It's, it's like, it, that's been done so much. I'm sorry to be that. I'm sorry to be that guy, but it's just been done so fucking much. Going into a room, see, the person always has newspaper clippings of stuff that they've done in their life before that, you know, exposes, like, a little expose on, like, their background. It's it's in misery. It's in um, Hitchcock movies. It's in so much stuff. Yeah. Maybe not Hitchcock movies, but there's a Mario Bava movie called The Girl Who Knew Too Much I watched recently, and there's stuff like that too. Yeah. Newspaper clippings of things that they've done. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, not to, I like you know, and it's fine. It's a it's a like what do you call that? It's you know, it's something to further the plot. Yeah. Um, there. Yeah, but uh the last thing she sees this is why she i think she asked for the cheeseburger because she sees oh he started out working at like a fast food place mm -hmm. and it's like i think what they were trying to do is just like you know because he's like oh i've lost my desire to cook and this and that because of you fucking people yeah and she goes well give me a cheeseburger it's like oh that's how i first started out cooking thank you you made me um ref refine my my love again but i'm still gonna burn this place down on the ground yeah. um i think that's what they were going for yeah. And that kind of works. I guess it gives Ray finds an arc yeah. in a way. Cause not really, because he still burns the house down. I, you could call it an arc, I suppose. You know, the fact that he said everyone was gonna die, but he lets Anya Taylor Joy uh go off. Everybody else is like, go, just leave. Right. I think it shows yeah. the wife who's getting cheated on. Yeah. Like, oh. Right. It's yeah. like, why don't you people try to run out too? They're Ray, Ray Fine says stuff. that in the movie at one point. He's like, you know, you could have probably taken taken all of us and escaped, you know. Yeah. It's like, wow, okay. Yeah. And then they'll just take it. You yeah. Know, dressed up as s'mores. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> crying. Oh, man, we're dressed up as s'mores. <laughs> yeah, that was cute. I did like his speech about it. S'mores presented as like the most childish snack, and yet it's, um, what is it, irresponsibly sourced by children. I don't get that. So, so are cheeseburgers, though, too. Yeah. yeah American, American cheese is about as processed as marshmallows. Like, I don't, I don't get why the, anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> he can break that's a cheeseburger. Why, that's why I said. That's why I said s'mores American cheese because cheese are s'mores. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you're right, right, right. He's like cheese is the best, yes. But at the same time, it's like we're like it's still a processed, you know, like it's not, it's not like a good cheese. It is good for burgers for that reason, but at the same time, it's like I don't know. It's like the, again, the pretentious. It's like the pretentiousness. It's just like no, come on, man. Got your high horse. Yeah, but just that's. That's it, though. I mean, she, because of the uh, the newspaper article, you know, she wanted to take him back to that time. Mm -hmm. She probably knew that that was going to be her best chance of getting the fuck out of there is if she softened him up enough yeah. to get her out of there. It was a damn good cheeseburger. I want one of those. <laughs> I'll take two, please. Yeah. Um, you know, that also reminds me of maybe like ratatouille when the critic he comes bit, in yeah. he's like let me try your ratatouille and they make something that reminds him of his past right that's a good point actually I'm yeah i'm trying to think of something else maybe batman versus superman <clears throat> when they say martha, martha uh, and he's like, i oh, still I i've still never seen that um it's spoiler kind of, kind of interesting. i know <laughs> i know all about that fucking movie <laughs> spoiler alert <clears throat> um i don't know that might have been has that been done before? Is that maybe what I'm trying to say? Is it's a little overplayed as well? Sure. The like just appeal to the bad guys um, past when you're free to go. Yeah, I'm not fine. I'm well, I'm not. Let me rephrase that. I'm fine with doing like things that have been done before. It's impossible not to. Right. But just maybe I don't know. Just I think it's it works for me if the rest of the movie works for me. If say you know maybe the characters are intriguing and interesting and. You know, it's got to, like, I got to, in order to forgive that, the rest of the movie has to kind of carry that on its shoulders and not, like, um, falter because of it. And it just, to me, it's just like the rest of the movie isn't necessarily strong enough to where it's just like, what are we doing? The whole thing of bringing people together to tell them how bad they are and even kill them at the end. Again, it's just like, I've seen that so many fucking times. Like, yeah. it's just so, I don't know, maybe in just the pretentiousness of every fucking buddy and how much I couldn't stand Nicholas Holt's character and, you know, the three guys. Again, it's just like the three guys are just like there. Yeah, we're douchebags. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at the, yeah, the, 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 the whatever the hell on the tacos. Um, I guess like in like funds that they, I don't like, 
embezzled. what do you call it embezzled, yeah. yes that embezzled thank you um you know it's it's just like these i don't know it's just like we have done i don't know recently i think parasite won picture of the year a couple of years ago um that one's very big on class theory. yeah so there we go yeah rich you know yep. they have all this stuff and yet they treat the lesser classes poorly that's that's a big theme in this one is they're like are you a server or are you with them yeah. do you serve people or do you eat uh -huh. you know we've seen that theme a lot um i think this this was a pretty fun take on it serving them um uh all the sides without the bread that was that was kind of a cool and a little dig at uh, the class system and even like the the crit critics are like oh yeah he he loves historical allegories about classism and stuff like that so you know they're very blunt about it but like ian saying like how many times have we seen this kind of plot or you know I class themes i haven't seen it that's true. Well, which one? Like a pot like this? Like people are, are taken to a place and basically told how awful they are? Or class themes? Really? Class themes? Parasites. Like, yeah. The biggest one I can think yeah, of. that's one that comes to mind. I like Tales from the Crypt. It's a movie, not the show. The show is very good. But there was a um, movie from the 70s where these people all go to a crypt and they don't really know why. And the crypt keeper comes and he, each, it's an anthology. Each person has a story that shows either why they are bad. And basically, why they're there, or something bad that happened to them while that they were involved with. It's the same fucking thing. Like you know, and they, uh, you know, I'm not gonna spoil that movie, but you know, it's just, I don't know. I, you know, sometimes it's okay to like ape off of other things, but for me, it, it's just a me thing. It just didn't work for me with with this. Why I don't know. I guess maybe just because everyone was just so fucking like. Is aside from Ray Fines, who even then is just like, hey, you're kind of still a douchebag, snobby chef douche. Yeah. And I and Taylor Joy, it's like, you know, at least she had the balls to like, you know, her the the gumption to just kind of be like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah. So but she's not she's not in that she she's not in their class. Right. Yeah. I <clears> like <throat> the fact that, you know, he brought everybody's the badness or whatever, everybody's bad, you know, to the forefront. Mm -hmm. you know, all the crimes told him off you know i love what he when he attacked the, the critic yeah yeah he like sent over some broken <clears throat> emulsion like an even bigger bowl <laughs> like yeah. oh you like the broken emulsion there and then, and then when his maitre d or whatever she is i can't pronounce it. elsa elsa when she comes over and and tears into the three it's a tortilla yeah <laughs> yeah see like stuff like that's fun just because it's like yeah these guys can go fuck themselves yeah but and then at the same time, it's just like, why? Why are they so like? What? What did she have to gain from all? I guess she, it's like, because I read some people like stuff online from people. Because I was just like, you know, am I the only one? Because I heard nothing but good stuff about this. I'm like, am I the only one that thought it wasn't didn't live up to the hype, so to speak? And um, some people are saying it's kind of like an allegory for cults, maybe or something. Like you know, he's sort of like people blind cool. blindly follow cults. I don't know. It is very cultish, especially um, with the birding. Nobody got right. Away. Right. They all just took like it. a mass suicide thing. Yeah. Yeah. And they were talking about, um, you know, when he says, you know, you there's enough of you, whatever, you probably could have taken us. And and but when they when they did that exercise where all the guys scattered, you know, the only thing out there was a rowboat. You know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you could kick her by his ass, but then how are you going to get off the island? Mm -hmm. I don't know how well it would have worked though if the characters had been more aggressive that kind of thing i mean as far as i'm concerned and nobody out there take this the wrong way um but that kind of how i see rich people mm -hmm. especially in cinema mm -hmm. you know where they i don't know they they think they're too good for this too good for that they have somebody that does this for them does this for that so now they're in a situation you know they don't know what to do or how to do it mm -hmm. they can't seem to get together you know to figure out you know it's rushy's it's bum rushy's guys or whatever the case may be i don't know so i think maybe that i kind of see that's where that flatness that you're talking about comes in yeah yeah and that's what just again it's just like one dimensional i i just for me if i were to blame it it'd be, just be the writing mm -hmm. you know just maybe 
I don't know. Sometimes, again, like Nicholas Hall's character, I remember taking writing. Cl- I'm not a writer. I'm not going to pretend to be a writer, but I remember taking writing classes like in college, even high school. I remember at least in one class being told like um, <clears throat> if you're writing characters, like write characters as characters. Don't write them as uh, plot devices for the main character or ca- main characters to like kind of um, work off of or sort of to, um, you know, like kind of forward your plot and sometimes it can work i can't think of an example right now i'm sure there's a movie that i really like where there's a character there just to sort of um for like a plot or just kind of some like fought like again i say cannon fodder so to speak babu um <laughs> frick i have babu frick's fine not my babu frick <laughs> he has a purpose doesn't he fix c3po or something yeah. yeah he's got a purpose anyway that's a conversation for another day but um yeah, it's just, I don't know. I think really when you get down to brass tacks, the problem with this movie is probably the writing, I would say. Because the acting isn't bad, especially in the two main characters, uh, the chef and uh, Margot, or, or her real name, which uh, escapes me. The only character I was trying to figure out was Jean Leguizamo's character. Okay, yeah, let's talk about him. Yeah. yeah. I kind of see why the chef picked him. He even explains it. It's because I went to go see one of your pictures and you're this great oh. artist, but somewhere along the way you lost your, I don't know if he lost his talent or if he lost his drive, I guess you could say. And that's why he started accepting bad parts and doing bad work. I guess that's why he deserved to die. I don't know if that's a reason to get burned alive. <laughs> um, he, well, no, it's because he, he uh, dedicated one of his Sundays you know, watch oh, that he only movie. gets like one Sunday to watch a movie and he wasted it. Yeah. John Leguizamo had a decent counter argument though. He's like, well, I mean, I didn't direct it. I didn't write it. I was yeah. just in it. You know, it's like, yeah, that's exactly. a, that's a pretty solid hard counter argument. <laughs> you know, it's not his fault. The movie sucked. I don't know. Sometimes it's not the actor's fault. Sometimes it can be, but that's the thing. Teaser, teaser. Okay. Um, Cause it's like, I kind of wish it would just be John Leguizamo had just been playing himself. And it could have you could have used like one of John Leguizamo's actual movies because they just it was like calling Doctor Sunshine or something was that yeah. the fake movie? It's like it would have been funny if it was like one of John Leguizamo's actually bad movies, you know? I don't know. I thought that was kind of a wasted opportunity. I don't know. If, I think that might have worked. Yeah. You think that would have worked? Maybe if he played himself. I mean, would John Leguizamo yeah. want to do that? Where they all just right. make fun of him? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Pro- maybe not. Yeah. I don't know. But I think it would have worked better. Yeah. It would have been maybe a little funnier. Maybe not. I don't know. That might I mean, be a bad idea, bad but oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, Spawn. You ever... I've never seen it, oh. but he oh. <laughs> plays the clown in that. Ugh. I like his assistant in this film. She says, why Why do I deserve to die? And then oh, the... um, he's all like, what college did you go to? Brown? And then <laughs> he's like, did you have student loans? No, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> and that, that, <laughs> that goes back good... to the class thing, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. That was a good little, like, um, jab there wasn't like a punchline or anything it felt like you just gotta know i actually had to google what brown university is that's it's pretty prestigious right yeah it's in new york i think right or something um or maybe massachusetts well, I where. I was just somewhere in the northeast i think it has like one it's an ivy league, league i'm sure yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so she got her way paid i guess i love when uh the Coast Guard guy comes in. I was just okay. I, I wanted to bring that up too. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of his sous chefs, and he made a big deal about that movie. That the, the chef right, the right, right, right. I know. Yeah, oh, it's Dr. like Sunshine. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And then he had the lighter gun from George of the Jungle, Christian. You would have liked that. I've been seeing that a lot. I've been watching shows and stuff, and lighter guns keep coming up. I want to get. I want to get one. Yeah. Yes, chef. So we've talked about it for a little <laughs> bit. Um, what would you rate it though out of five, Mark? 4.75. Wow. Okay. Nice. Damn. Like I said, I, I have not seen too many movies along this line. So it's kind of new for me. And uh, I, uh, I enjoyed disliking all the bad people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Nicholas, Nicholas Holt's character. You know, you you talked about you know how much you you hated that character, and um, I, I with with everybody else in the movie being kind of you know I'll say it again, rich like you know calm calmer that kind of thing, scared basically. 
don't know. He was kind of like a, he was like a, I don't give a shit beacon in the movie. You know, he had been talking to the guy forever. Um, I don't know. I, I think there's a line in there saying something about him telling chef that he could cook. And, you know, I, I, I feel that he kind of drives the movie a little bit because you, 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 he gives you insight into what this guy is all about, how, you know, how he can cook and how, how great he is at it and, you know, how much he's beloved by the rich people and all that kind of stuff. And the fact that he fucks over um, Margot, you know, I mean, he's just, he's a, oh, you know, he's a dick, but I think you need him. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, um, I think they could have maybe made a bigger thing out of him hanging himself. I yeah, mean, just that quick shot of Margot seeing him as she's walking through, you know, the hallway. I, I don't know. I, I, I think maybe we needed more of that. Sure. <clears throat> a nice big like uh, horror horror movie scream of her opening the door, or maybe not even have him kill himself. You know, yeah. maybe just keep him around. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, again, when uh, you have two, like, almost back-to-back -back suicides, it kind of lessens the blow of the second one. You know, I, anyway, yeah, I already, I already shot my wad on there. Since we were talking about Tyler, I'm sorry, I forgot to ask this question. Why was he uh, taking pictures of all of his dishes if he knew his fate already, that like he was going to die? That's a, <laughs> on my You don't want to know why? You want to know why? Why? Because it's not a well-written movie. <laughs> well, I don't I, know, dude. I had this discussion with Kathy, and mm. she thinks that, she, that he was um, uploading them to a website. But, mm -hmm. That's possible. But, That's, but why? Again, because this is because he's, he's a so But he's going to be dead. But he's going to be dead. What, I mean, what the fuck does it matter if it's uploaded to a website? He's eating the fucking food. Why do you got to take a picture of it and upload it to a website? It's I don't know. That's just, it's, His whole thing just didn't... Absolutely. I'm sorry. But that's the thing. How did he even figure? Is he all the secret society that he belongs to that told him about all this shit? Like what? The, it just doesn't. I'm sorry. It just his whole fucking thing doesn't work for me at all. I think the hanging also bothers me because he knew his fate that he would die, but he was there for the experience nonetheless. Right. He wanted the whole shebang. He wanted all the courses. He wanted all the pain and suffering and everything. Why didn't he stick it out for the final big hurrah? The final flame. I guess maybe because because the early. Lord Chef told him it was okay. I don't I don't know. He mm -hmm. that's what he whispered. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder what the chef. Mm. I don't know. Maybe that's what's so brilliant was, about it because we don't know. Could cook, and then realizes all a bunch of bullshit, and then just you know, chef's like, "Well, you don't deserve to die like the rest of us." Mm, maybe so. Cold. That's cold. Ian, though, what would you give it out of five? I'll give it a three. It's a well-made movie. There's a good performance with Ray Fiennes and Anya Taylor Joy. Um, even I'll, sure, Hong Chow, she was good. Mm -hmm. um, it was nice seeing her tell people off. But uh, yeah, man, I just had I had problems with shit. I had a few problems, which as you guys know now, um, it's not it's I, I it's not a bad movie. It's just it's a little problematic, and. Uh, I'm not dying to rewatch. It sucks because I'm glad Mark. What? Okay, this is what I'll say in in the movie's favor. It was nice to watch something new because even though it does borrow things, it's still a new movie, yeah. and that's cool. It's also cool to watch something that's not Star Wars, that's not Marvel, that's not even Avatar. You know, like the big, you know, just um, you just sit down, you watch it, you leave. You know, it was nice to watch something that makes you think. That's not a big property, so I'll give it props for that too. Um, but having said all that, I still had issues with it, but it's not a bad, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give it three is a passing grade out of five. So I'll, I'll give it a three. It didn't blow me away, but at the same time, like, you know, it's confidently made. It's pretty good acting, you know, <clears throat> silly shit in it, but yeah, I'll give it a three. 4.75 and a three. I will start by saying. If you have a film with Rafe Finnis saying <laughs> the mess, I'm going to give you a pretty good score. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> <The> mess. <laughs> um, I, I like this one. I think it was uh, very well made. Um, great soundtrack, great visuals. 
I think the acting was fun. The three guys, we've been complaining about those three um, kind of douchebag guys on that side. Um, I really like. realize he's right behind me. He's right behind me. Oh, and yeah. I've been talking about him the whole time. <laughs> I recognize Talk uh, bad about him. A couple of those guys. I really like the way that the, uh, the Asian gentleman was playing it real straight. He was kind of like sad the whole time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I kind of like that personality that he was putting. Like, mm, that was kind of a different personality. Right. Um, he kind of stood out to me. I like that. Um, I like all the class themes. I like how we had um, the guy who's cheating on his wife, the critic who makes restaurants shut down, the actor who lost his joy in acting, much like the chef who lost his joy in cooking. <clears throat> um, a lot of good themes. Um, but yeah, you know, it did have a couple problems here and there, like Ian saying. It did reuse some things. Uh, you know? I think it's still a lot of fun, though. I would give it a four out of five. I think it's very well made. I think it's worth a stream, at least. Um, and I really like Chef in this one. He's good. The mess. The mess. The, mess. the world is a mess. <laughs> the world is as messy as it gets. <laughs> yeah, but um, I think that's a pretty good score for the menu. That is a pretty good score. <clears throat> recommend it. Yeah. Put, put it well, plate. only if you're interested in it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Go check out the menu on HBO Max. It's streaming right now. It just came out. Um, we'll be back later. Um, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one, everybody. Laters.